Welcome to Planta Garden TV. How are you guys doing today? All right, guys, what's going on? The heat is on, the heat is on, the heat is on. This is my, this is about my second week dealing with 90 degrees. Sometimes we're dealing with 101. But right now, this is our going to our third week dealing with 90 degrees and this is container garden i'm gonna show you a few things in the container garden right now this is in the middle of the day and this is where we actually dealing with the midday heat and the midday heat is one the dangerous thing when come and gardening and your plants the thing about it today, we in the midday heat. I'm gonna show you a few plants how they really struggling in the midday heat. And then in the evening, when the weather cool down, they come right, they spring right back like nothing happened. Okay, so this is the cassava, the midday heat doing nothing to the cassava. Over here again, we see the bell pepper. It's do, it doing nothing to the bell pepper. The corn flour, it really doing nothing to the corn flour. Down in this container, we have yam and we have squash. It's not really doing it, nothing, but it's the leaf. Let me show you a few leaf of this squash. Now, this morning, this squash was looking so beautiful and healthy. Look at how the leaves them fall down to the ground now. But the thing about it, guys, this evening, it all gonna come right back. And why you think it's gonna come back is because of the root. You see, the root of this is well protected because as you see, there's a lot of soil in this container. We also growing yam inside here. But because of the, the amount of soil in this container, it helps protecting the root. The root is important. So if the root protected, then the plant will be protected as well. So even though we see right now the leaf is really scorching in the evening, everything gonna come back to life. And I'm gonna do an update video this evening just to show you guys. All right, so the yam, the yam love hot sun, it not really doing the yam anything in this container we have some cantaloupe growing up here cantaloupe doing pretty well but look at what's going on guys and you know what these plants i wet them twice a week because i'm a f i don't really like to wet plants i believe that plants some plants don't like to be wet a lot so i don't really like to wet them but the thing is with this type of heat you cannot say you're not gonna wet your plants you have to wet them in order for them to survive look at this this is a lemon grass and during this heat i'm learning so much i'm learning about the plants that can deal without water and love the hot sun and i'm learning of a plant that does not love the hot sun and cannot deal with too much heat this is a june plum which is a golden apple i can see this plant love hot sun it loves the heat but one thing it also loves water so we got to be mindful of that so even though the weather is booming and we're dealing with a hundred degrees weather the plants them is still surviving why because the container is big big containers to maintain the root of the plant so this is why i always say plant in big container make sure whatever you grow in the root is big enough to shelter that root okay so right in this area here we have cantaloupe growing and this cantaloupe shows me they love hot sun because they're doing pretty well. They're still doing pretty well. They're still pushing out their flowers. 